School children learn the story of Harriet Tubman. But not all of them know that Tubman is said to have lived and worked in Cape May, New Jersey in the early 1850s. As CBS News Philadelphia reporter Brandon Goldner shows you, it was a place where freedom was in sight. 16 miles of water separates Cape May from Delaware. These 16 miles across the Delaware Bay symbolize the distance between freedom and enslavement for black men and women in the 1800s. The nearness and the gravity of the distance is kind of, you know, kind of mystical. 16 miles being the differential in someone's lived experience for the entirety of their lives. Dr. Stephanie James Harris says many enslaved blacks sought to get to freedom by following the Underground Railroad. One of its routes traversed that 16 miles. For a lot of people, they don't really think about the fact that almost all the routes of the Underground Railroad run through the state of New Jersey and that Cape May becomes sort of the epicenter. An epicenter of black life where one of the Underground Railroad's most famous conductors walked these historic streets. Harriet Tubman. Dr. James Harris says historians believe Tubman spent summers working at the black owned resort, the Banneker House, to fund her missions on the Underground Railroad. Tubman and black life in Cape May is memorialized at the Harriet Tubman Museum of New Jersey. Cindy Mullick is the museum's executive director. It's incumbent on all of us to learn that history, to be able to contextualize it and understand this long and continuing struggle for social justice and equality. But the museum itself is only about 1,600 square feet. It can only hold about 40 people at a time, but the digital space has unlimited capacity. One, two, three. The museum's working with black high school students from throughout South Jersey to digitize its exhibits. Actually, it was actually very eye-opening because I didn't know that um, KMA was like such a, like, a nexus for um, Harry Tubman and other freedom fighters. The app's in the final stages of development and is expected to be released in the coming months. It's our job to really spread the history and allow other people to understand this because there are a lot of people out in the world that still don't believe that this, this was real, that this actually happened.